How to create facial hair, beards and moustaches in Photoshop. Welcome back to PhotoshopDesire.com YouTube channel. In this Photoshop manipulation tutorial, we'll learn how to create the facial hair easily, using nothing but Photoshop tools and filters. I am using Photoshop CC 2017. However, this should work in most versions of Photoshop. Let's get started. Add a new fill layer and select solid color black. Now add some noise to this fill layer. Go to filter, select noise and choose add noise filter. Convert fill layer to smart object. Enter a value of around 35%. Set the distribution option to Gaussian and select the monochromatic option. Click OK to close out of the add noise dialog box. Photoshop fills the layer with noise. We need to add a bit of blurring to it, which will make those single pixel dots a bit wider. Go back up to the filter menu, choose blur. Then choose Gaussian blur. A radius value of 0.4 pixels works best. Let's apply some radial blur to the noise layer. Keep amount 10 and select Blur Method Zoom. Now the noise layer looks like short stiff hairs growing on a man's face, when he has not shaved for a while. We use this to create beards and moustaches. Add Layer Mask to the noise layer. Go to Layer tab. Layer Mask. Select Hide All. Choose a soft white brush. And in the layer mask paint over the areas of the face. We need to get rid of the mid-tones of the noise layer. We can do that using Curves Adjustment layer. Clip the Curves layer to the below noise layer. Now we need to match color of the facial hair to skin tones. Select new fill layer. And sample a color from the face of the person. Change the blending mode to soft light. Use the curve settings to increase the contrast of the hair. Reduce opacity of the noise layer to blend with the skin. We're done with settings. Now delete layer mask and paint again where you want the facial hair to show.
am not expert in moustache styles. So don't judge me about shapes I'm painting. Here is before and after result. Group or layer. Now duplicate group. We can delete layer mask and paint again to get another new style of moustaches. For beards I recommend you to create multiple groups like I'm doing now. Use the curve settings to increase the contrast of the hair. For realistic beards create multiple groups like this and reveal all layers and groups. If you want stubble look, reduce opacity of any group, it will blend really well with skin. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed it, and learned some useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe to our channel for more interesting tutorials. Post a comment, click thumbs up, like and share to get more videos. See you again in next video tutorial.